set up in the stand. The woods are pretty quiet, but hopefully we get some dough. You know, they're still somewhat patterned. So I think some of these bucks move through this area in the morning as well as night. So, and we get some dough coming in. That'll bring a big buck behind it. Here we go.
just, they're so dopey. Don't really have any objective. They're just sort of roaming around. But um, saw him at the top of the hill here. And he, he actually picked us out pretty quickly. Even though it was probably 50, 60 yards away. So we just froze and he actually circled all the way down. Came up the hill. And uh, was probably 10 yards from us right under our stand. Um, I think he got our wind too. Just, you know, he got two people in a tree. Say hi, buddy. Twice the amount of scent. Uh, spray down. You know, do all the right things, but you just can't, can't beat a deer's nose. So, still 10 yards. Could have shot him, but obviously just too, too little of a guy. Give him uh, two to three more years. That's a nice big eight point, probably 150, 145 inches. <clears throat> Mature deer. He just circled downwind from us. I saw him cruising the bottom here. And I gave him a grunt and he played it perfectly. But he came downwind and came up. I mean, we're, we're 20 feet up, but he's just 
a smart old deer. And he looked right at me. And then he turned, and I drew back. But he was already spooked. He made a couple head bobs when he was walking. I'm guessing maybe he smelled something he didn't like. But he hopped off. And I know you can't tell by the light in the camera, but it's pretty dark. So, I saw an opening, probably 40 yards. And I have a double pin. I'm guessing it's probably 35 yards, but I held it on him. And it looked like it went above him. I could have hit a stick. I could have just shot high. I tried to cut through some stuff, but, oh, what a nice buck. I mean, he wasn't a giant, but he was a nice old deer. Uh, and just a perfect day point. But again, this spot doesn't disappoint again. Beautiful morning, had bald eagles flying, uh, lake otters, sea otter, lake otter, I don't know, but they're otters. Uh, anyway, we watched the footage back and we got our angle of where that shot was. So we walked right down. So the benefit of reviewing the video is a couple of things. One, I can tell you that my face isn't that fat. I'm just, see, I mean, look, what happened was my vest was pushing everything forward. So that I could address. That's the benefit of, of being able to review. So my face is full, but it's not fat. <laughs> In all seriousness, we found where the uh, arrow went. <clears throat> well, it's a damaged arrow, as expected. Uh, looks like the swacker broke off in it. It's uh, broke at the end here and the uh, lighted knock buried into it. You can still see it a little bit, but it's, uh, it's broke. So we'll take this out with us. But as we knew all along from the video, from the shot, clean miss, not a drop of blood, um, went right over his back. We shot this distance, and this is actually like 20, a little over 20 yards. I don't know if it was, well, obviously I rushed a shot, but 
my second pin would set at 40, 45, 40, somewhere right in there. And I just went right over it. I did have to shoot through some brush, but still, wrong pin, rush shot, this is what happens. That's it.